Welcome to For Love and Play. I'm matchmaker comic Yael Meisel. With me is comedians Keenan Weaver and Louis B. For Love and Play, the show about dating like a goddamn adult. We're going to discuss who to spend your time with for love or for play. Let's do it, boys. This show contains adult content for entertainment purposes. Listener discretion is advised. Not a doctor. All right, welcome back. Thanks for listening in to For Love and Play. I'm your host, Keenan Weaver, back with my favorite people, the Queen Yael. How are you doing, my lady? Happy Saturday night, everybody. Right. And the Duke. I I I, I, I need a I need a uh, an upgrade. Uh I, I think I've uh, surpassed my Duke status, but um Barufa Tough Hashen uh, uh What 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 do you want? Let's uh let's figure this out right now. Uh, a job in the kitchen. He can organize shit too. Hey. Oh. Are you trying what, to say you... are you trying to say Louis B belongs in the kitchen? Do you want do I don't you want uh, that. Do you want to be called the chef from now on? The chef. Louis B. The the chef. chef. Louis B. The chef. I mean, chef homeboy. It takes a lot to get elevated to Duke Hood, you know, in the real royal hierarchy. Yeah, but what's higher than Duke? I I I don't know. You brought up this whole. You're not included. You feel like you need to step up. So, what do you think? What's higher than Duke? Okay, Baron. All right. Baron. I will remember that. <laughs> He's the Baron of the show. <laughs> yes. I keep uh, we got a fun one for you guys today. We're really going to talk about, analyze the culture of slut shaming. But before we jump into that, Louie, tell the people how they can join us on the conversation. This is what I need you jive turkeys to do. Email us at forloveandplay at gmail.com. Hit us up on our Facebook, facebook.com slash forloveandplay. Or you could also tweet us at forloveandplay. Take it away, Keenan. All right, guys. Something over the week happened last. Uh, it was actually yesterday. Kanye <laughs> West <laughs> lost his mind. Well, I'm, <laughs> you mean, you I mean, don't even know how you technically can say that because I feel like it's been lost for a while. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like if you were if you were to go to like a Chicago lost he and found, came back and he chased it away again. <laughs> you would see just Kanye's mind there, picked apart in many different pieces. Honestly, he's along act- the shelves of the lost and found. Honestly, he's acting like a fifty year old woman that went to like a quack doctor to get a boob job. Oh Lord! It, exactly. Oh. But I don't even want to talk about the the yeah, actual that's- craziness of Kanye. Um, because that's just really too easy, and a lot of people talk about it, and it's picking on him. And I feel like he has some level it's a of genius. System of a bigger problem, right? Definitely. I what I do want to pick out is really examine something that did happen on his Twitter rant that I'll quickly shall go over because we're not talking about the actual rant, but something that was a part of it, and we're gonna spotlight that. Um, but if you were aware, for some reason, under a rock, uh, Kanye West went on an epic Twitter rant. At Wiz Khalifa, because he thought Wiz Khalifa used his girlfriend's name by putting the initials KK, which he was referencing weed. But Kanye is so narcissistic that he thought he was talking about his wife. Now, oh lordy, that's hilarious in such a fashion that in all of Twitter, of all the 140 characters, if you ever put K followed by another K in the whole world of the internet, he thinks. You're talking about his wife. That is just an amazing thing. I went to Google and put in KK, and they don't even think about Kim Kardashian. Until like the <laughs> I did. Page. You, you like, know, did they reroute you to the clan? Just like <laughs> That's like scientifically a back hole. Like if that, I don't even understand. I mean, oh, you know, Lord. in my, in did my you world, mean KKK. <laughs> like no, no. KK. Kim Kardashian, of course. Or if of you're, course. or if you're of Latin descent, KK could mean um, strikeouts in baseball. Ah, oh, see, that could be that. Yeah. Well, what other system. things could be KK? Animal. Uh, Captain Kangaroo, because he spells oh. it in K- with K's. It is, it is so hard. I think it's interesting. Like the listeners should know, I really love Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Oh. So for me to acknowledge this level of stupidity and like laugh at them. I, that never happens. I always side with them, but they've taken this to a place of fucking nuts that, like, it's just unacceptable. 
I mean, <laughs> honestly, is, Kanye Kanye's been unacceptable for years. I mean, honestly, his his his. What dark, is wrong with this man? Honestly, there is I, another I, side to being that artistically gifted. You suck at being a human being. He's gorgeous, and how long was this mofo ew, single? Oh, really? You think you think he's cute? He's good looking. Oh, hell. He's very handsome. Oh no, he, that's not the point. He, he, Louis he, is irrelevant. He looks like Sticking a goddamn. To the point, he looks his like personality a is so disgusting. Who in the hell could stay with him? Uh, she's doing a good job, and the last time she was with somebody, it only lasted 72 days. But I don't want to go in the whole pop culture topic, because that's not... I, I do want to say the first point, if you Google KK, every, all the listeners should do that. I'm not even going to tell you. The first person that Google thinks of with KK is a singer. Then the next is... Oh, Wiz Khalifa mm-hmm. is top... top uh top uh, uh, uh in in the results now uh urban dictionary right now because of the because of the the stuff uh, but it's not or, an, uh, urban uh, urban dictionary so what so, actually uh, happened okay. so what actually happened with the situation with with uh so, so he googles kk and kanye does what um so he he put in a tweet with those initials re- referencing weed mm-hmm. kanye thinks he's talking about his wife so he goes on this whole twitter rant at Wiz Khalifa. And during this, he subvertly mentions Amber Rose. So the topic, as I said up front, will be about slut shaming. And this is to point out, first of all, if you have a beef with a man to man, um, the man thing to do is to always leave the women out of it. They They should not be brought up. But this is particularly lame because Kanye used to date very famously that's one of his longer term relationships amber rose and i find it i find it deplorable i find it lame that this guy always seems to have her name in his mouth in a derogatory fashion when he went out with her so how do you Dude, like that's just that's just deplorable. I I, I'm a, I almost have no words for it because no man should be talking ill about his ex. I don't even care what happened throughout a divorce. I don't care if she flipped. D- don't talk about her at all, and definitely don't volunteer to bring her up in something that has nothing to do with her. Yeah. That's protective. Yeah, I mean Kanye. I don't know. Kanye's been a bitch for a long time. I mean, it, I mean, I know he listens to this show, so Kanye. He does. I mean, you know, it's to support me, of course. Yeah, but Kanye, <laughs> I have a personal problem with you. Uh, but let's keep Twitter out of it. I, I call I, us. We'll I ch- call you. I challenge, we'll call the Kardashian wife. I challenge you to a Highlander sword fight. Oh, there could only be one. Anyway, that, that... so getting back to sweat shaving. Mm-hmm. So that that's exactly what I want to highlight. The the act of in any argument in any way bringing up your ex in a derogatory word is lame. So let's not talk about Amber Rose and Kim Kardashian in particular, but let's talk about the act of dudes bringing up their exes or talking about females that they had interactions with in a derogatory word. Like even using your ex's name pejoratively is lame. And yeah. why do guys seem to not move, be able to move on from their exes? Why? Well, why does that actually happen? There's gotta be something like. There's sometimes it's, I, I feel like I don't know. You don't want to see that person happy. Mm-hmm. Like I'm allowed to be happy, but like you have to be miserable. Or I I just I th- I don't know. I think it's a real like. It's, it's beyond growth. It's not. Even, it's like worse than shit talking. Right. There's a there's an old tale that says, uh, "Whoever you lay down with is your equal." Right. So the fact that you took the time out to, for whatever form or fashion, whatever action, whatever you did, be with this person, they are on your level. Once that action is done, hmm. how do you then try to move on? You do not stay together for whatever reason, but now you think evil about this person. 
when obviously they were good enough to be with you. That's right. That's my point. And to really use uh, what came out, something out of this on the whole slut shaming la- la- lines, uh, Lisa Ann, who is a porn star, yep. went to Twitter in defense of these contacts because of how he used strippers derogatory when he used to chase strippers. Yep. That was her whole point. So why do women get this brunt of the thing? And I, f- I believe you, Louis, you had something that we wanted to, to play and react to along these lines so that we can then talk about that. Can you play the uh, our fellow colleague in comedy, Jim Jeffries bit, please? All righty, here we go. Every single time a man sleeps with a lot of women, he's called a stud. But if a woman sleeps with a lot of men, she's called a slut. And people think this is unfair. Nah. Nah. It's completely fair. And I'll tell you why, right? Because it's fucking easy to be a slut. It's fucking hard to be a stud. (laughs) To be a stud, you have to be witty, charming, well-dressed, have nice shoes and a fake job. (laughs) To be a slut, you just have to be there. There are fat, ugly sluts out there. There are no fat, ugly studs. I have met slutty dwarfs. I've never met a stud dwarf. (laughs) Maybe in their own realm, but none that have crossed over (laughs) to our world. Okay, so... So, yeah, yeah, I'll I'll let you jump in first on that. Oh, man. Ah, oh, okay. Like, my ex-husband had friends who, like, I feel like that totally applies to. But, like, most women, I don't know. Like, I guess that's what makes us not sluts. Like, if I'm going to fuck you, I mean it. You know what I mean? That's not going to happen on accident. And it's totally true. You know within three minutes, usually three to five, I really, like, you usually know right away. You know what I mean? If you're going to go to bed with this person, I mean, I don't know. I think it's, for a man to sleep with a lot of women, he's right. You have to be, you have to have a great deal of lying under your belt and know what to say and how to say it and whatnot. I mean, so there's a lot of truth to that. It's just, it's unfortunate. So it's unfortunate because... And I also think that's a difference between, though, wait a second. I think there's a difference, though, between women who play the field and maybe are half casual sex and sluts. I think there's a very big difference between those two women. Because sex is, is socially and casually acceptable nowadays. You're not a slut anymore for putting out right away. Right. So my my thing is where does the where does the negativity come from the certain actions? Like is that's it like society that's happened, putting right. it on there? Is it is it women? Is it men putting it as a negative thing? Men are using an old, disgusting stereotype, much like racism. Let's, con- let's compare the two for a second. Is it socially acceptable? We just privately discussed something, a similar topic. Should someone use the N-word? No. No, they shouldn't. It, it invokes hate and arguments. It, it's not a nice word. It's not a nice word. It's but it's not okay. We all agree that it's not okay. Using the old school, disgusting thought pattern and mentality against women who are sexually active with men who are not their husband is placating on that level of wrong that the sexism, much like racism, they're both, they're both derogatory and terrible, and it's really a de- it's demeaning to not only, in, in like the Kanye West, Amber Rose situation, it's not only demeaning to her, but it's demeaning to women like her, which, as you two pointed out earlier, are much like his wife. So if Amber Rose is a hoe, so is Kim Kardashian, because we've seen everything that woman has. We <laughs> even know what her hoo-ha looks like. It, it, outside of Amber Rose being naturally gorgeous, I don't know what the same people. Amber Rose's vagina looks like. I've seen Kim Kardashian's vagina more than once. <laughs> that's that's great. We've seen that's her vagina. Have we have not seen Amber her vagina? Gorgeous, and Kim Kardashian bought her body. Louis, 
What do you think about the bit, though, from Jim Jeffries? I think it's really accurate, though, because there's this saying that um, if a man, if a, if a key opens many locks, it's a master key. If any key opens a lock, it's a shitty lock. Okay, I get the analogy, um, and that analogy brings out the negativity because in the frame of locks and keys, that makes sense. If you have a lock that <laughs> doesn't lock anything, that's probably not good. But what I'm saying as far as it is accurate that it is harder for men or men put more effort into having sex mm -hmm. with a person than is necessary for women. That, I mean, that... like, I can't just walk up to a chick and be like, hey, I I want to fuck you. I, I get fucking maced in my face. But a chick could just go up to a dude, grab, just, without saying a word, grab his dick, and it's on like Donkey Kong. But whose fault is that? Is it is, is it the man for being... That's why I'm saying, like, where are we placing... Well, I don't shit? know. See, let me ask you something. You know, like... I had someone in my life who it, things ended with back in November that was, you know, we were on and off for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And one of his issues, as we've discussed before, was he had an unhealthy, using his words, unhealthy sexual fixation with me, where he would fantasize for days. I'm saying, like, human being a healthy, normal man was like, that's crazy. You like having sex with your girlfriend. It's just not much more complicated than that. And he was looking at it as, like, if I have these lustful desires towards the woman in my life, there must be something wrong. And that comes from a culture and a mindset that demonizes and perverts sexual activity. You're supposed to want to bang the woman in your life, are you not? Yeah, I mean, that's a totally different situation than what... No, but to say that that feeling is dirty, I'm saying that this is where the slut shaking comes from. We're getting to the root of the problem. That's where it comes from. The, the, the demonizing of sexual activity and men and women being sexually equal. Hmm. Right, but I think what, I think what Louis was tr trying to, to say is... Is that for women, it's not necessarily needed for them to have skills in order to get sex. They just have to have the body part. Where for men... Okay, but you have to play sorcery fucking shit magic to get a boyfriend. Okay. That, and that's my point. Now, my point not, is, okay, if, if, if all things are equal, where, do we, where should we put the shame? Why should we put the shame on women because men just want to have sex and any woman can use that in order to get it, why isn't the shame on the dude that reacts that way? In in Louis' analogy. Or I'm saying in like in a in a fit of rage, I feel like against which I I can only imagine, you know, fits of rage are pretty common. The same way someone will say and you're the N word or you're a stingy Jew or you're a you know mm. a weed whacking Mexican, you're a filthy whore. You know what I'm saying? They're all awful demonizing a person for being... I, mean, I don't know. I feel like it comes from that place. Okay. Louie, what's your thought? Well, I mean, years ago, I did a I did a podcast on the Crash Out Radio Show on why I feel slut-shaming should be needed because, uh, I mean, like, uh, honestly, nobody... Men, men don't do not slut-shame as much as other women slut-shame themselves. Like how That's many true. how many times have you heard a woman's like oh she's a fucking slut she's a fucking whore she, we fucking hate like, Heather yeah I know yeah I mean just because oh, she's getting and she might not even be having sex with dudes she's just getting all this male attention because she's attractive and, and whatnot you know <clears throat> I mean you know it's like oh she's like it, it's more you know and in fact I like honestly. I've never had a conversation with another man about how slutty a, a woman is. In fact, honestly, if if she puts out, I, you know, it, dudes would stay shut about it, cause we would want, you know, we want them to to get with us, you know, get our turn. You know what I mean? You know, we're not we're not trying to like 
you know, uh, 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 kill the golden goose. So, and I re- I'm really sounding like an asshole right now, and I know this. I don't understand if it makes any sense. Yeah. No, I actually, I, I'm gonna try to link it because I, I actually kind of get what he's saying. Yeah. I do agree. I do disagree. Where there's definitely been male conversations where they're in celebration for discovering a quote unquote slut. Okay, well, um, we're not telling we're not... each other about. Yeah, this but we're, we're not, actions. But we're not it's, saying it in a negative. It's not negative. It's what, but it's 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 celebrating something that is deemed negative to others yeah, and her. Yeah. Well, so hmm. it, it's it's it, it's kind of not it's kind of not like it's not an honor. They're, you're not they're not celebrating it wow. in an honor roll fashion. True. But what I'm trying to link is what he's kind of saying is uh kind of like when you when you linked it to racism. Um, and the use of the N-word and some other words that have become casual, just like sex. Uh, if the N-word becomes casual, does it lose its negativity just because multiple people are using it? And in, and what, I, and what um, Louis is saying, just because females use it casually and men use it casually, does it still take the shame out of it? I argue it doesn't. And that's why when Kanye West uses the word stripper in a lot in, in, a, in a tweet in a negative way, it offends all strippers yeah. or whatever. And if a woman who is someone who attracts a lot of dudes uh, and other women feel whether it comes out of a place of insecurity to call this other woman a derogatory term, that's, again, their fault. And it's something that should be corrected. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to the whole Amber Rose thing, I mean, like, I'm, I, I'm attracted to Amber Rose, but if I ever got the chance, would I marry her? No. And not because she um, she's promiscuous. It's, I don't like how she did Wiz Khalifa. When it came to uh, visitation of of their son, so it, like it's it's that. I mean, she's not a good person either. Even though she's trying to be not now, she's like little Miss Feminist because she sees that she's making some money off that shit. She's getting some play. That's the only re- that's the only reason why she's speaking up again for for feminist issues. It's okay. I don't I don't believe that to be true at all, but. I mean, yeah, I I want to I want to challenge that statement as well. Mm. Well, well. I first, think that she realized that she had a filthy image, so she's trying to clean it up. Yeah, too late. That's that's something. I mean, well, that's not like saying a person can't change, which is simply untrue. Like, I I think she was. I think she's tired of being casted as like trash. She's trying to change her image and stand for something better. I, I honestly don't believe she should have been casted as trash at, at all, and that's what I'm trying to push. Like, I'm trying to well, push that this, not, none of these things should ever happen. But I want to pull out, uh, you said that you wouldn't marry Amber Rose. Right. So in this hypothetical, hypothetical world that you get a shot to even yeah. talk to Amber Rose and that she likes you <laughs> and would want to marry you, you know in this hypothetical, David? how... how First, tell the listeners what she did that you said you wouldn't marry her because of whatever the custody thing. Because I'm not familiar, so I'm sure other well, people she, might not no, be No, because, uh, you know, how how she kept Wiz Khalifa's son away from him. She, she played, used him as a, as a weapon. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's uh, every, Anyone could just Google this right now. I mean, I know uh, there's this YouTuber called Tommy Sola the Mario, or he, he, uh, he discussed this. Uh, it was their kid's um, birthday... And Wiz Khalifa was basically waiting for Amber to bring her son to him so that way they could have some time together. And she didn't and basically went to Instagram to shame Wiz Khalifa. Uh, you know, it says some, you know, threw some shade at Wiz Khalifa while celebrating uh, the son's birthday. Okay. So um, I, mean, I, think I, we, I think we get that picture. And that is slightly, uh, that definitely a topic for another day. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm just saying, uh, using, I don't, I don't using respect... your children against an, an ex 
is also deplorable, but that's not what we want to talk about today. Right. So I mean, so, not, so basically my that. point... What I want to say yeah, My is, point is not, not, not because she's promiscuous, because, right. so, I mean, as, as you properly shamed my ass... Yes, I don't have a shot, but if I did, uh, yeah, I would, I would definitely smash. But this is this, this is what I want to talk out of. I'll probably be Amber Rose. Man, fuck right, you. right. Out of that, that's what I want to talk about. Out of the hypothetical, and it wasn't a shame at you because I hear a lot of guys say things like this: say, "Oh, I would do such and such, but I wouldn't do this." As if your thought process in women that are clearly unattainable. To you and me, I'm not saying I'm not like I'm not specifically pointing it at you. Mm. They do this hypothetical and say that they wouldn't do something with this person because of what they know. And my question to that is: Do people do enough research? Because it's not that fault their fault that this famous that you know so much about these famous people live for you to make that hypothetical decision. What I'm saying is, would you make that same decision to a person? that you actually met, who actually did like you, who you would want to smash but not marry, would you have found out that information anyway with that type of person? Do people do that? Because I, I think most people don't do enough research on the people that they date. I mean, uh, honestly, a lot of the times you, you, they, they tell on themselves, you get the cat facts you know, relatively quickly nowadays, like, you know, especially with Facebook and all this social media, you can find out the backstory before you even put a ring on it. And I think everyone should do their due diligence to get the cat facts. I like that. And I like where the conversation yeah, is I, going. Yeah. Lou, uh, I, I've yeah, advocated what, that what for years. Hmm? Well, I'd say I've been an advocate of that for years. Right. Of, of actually doing the research. So Find out who in the hell you're, you're going out with. So now my people question... People are crazy. Is, We're meeting people online. Come on now. Yeah. So now my question to you, Yael, is if, if you meet somebody mutually attracted to and you Facebook stalk them or whatever and you find out that she mistreated her ex or for, in your case, he mistreated his ex at a certain time period... And you find this information out. It wasn't volunteered, but somehow you find this out. Does that change your opinion on this person? Well, it would depend on how long I had drawn out with them, how reliable the source is. I'm saying if he had issues with spousal abuse, absolutely not. I mean, yeah, let me ask you this question. Let's say uh, there's a dude that you're oh, interested in. Do I get three? Uh, okay. No, but uh, like, like, let's say there's someone you're interested in, and they have a, 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 a an extensive like body count of, you know, uh, con conquests. Like, let's say, let's say Wilt Chamberlain. <laughs> what What the hell is it my business? Yeah, but like honestly, let's say let's say Wilt Chamberlain, who's bedded thousands of women, was like, "Yo, yeah, oh, it's time for me to settle down." <laughs> I want to score a three with you for life. But you also love you also love him. I Just mean, I have dated a lot of guys that have been with a lot of women. I mean, but like Wilt Chamberlain, though. I'm talking about Wilt Chamberlain. I mean, I don't, I don't know, if, I don't know if we're batting in the in the in the double. Or, I don't know if we're batting in the triple or five and six digits. Um. This this brings 20, up a very interesting. 20, we don't have to. We don't 20, have to put Yara on the spot because of course she would marry Will Chamberlain. He's a strapping my, young guy. Um, my my um my friend Jose has had sex with over two hundred women. I think that's a little gross, but like, would you? But would you marry? Person? Like two thousand. Like honestly, two two hundred women have seen your dick. That Jose Jose's dick belongs to you. Like it's like I it's think like that's getting too getting, many people. <laughs> it's like you know my like, number is nowhere near that. I mean, honestly, that will make you a hipster because only hipsters like you like to buy used items. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, maybe that's why I'm having such a hard time finding a date. Shit's just in like new condition. So, you know what this, I mean? Yeah. This brings up something interesting Second that can maybe dick. turn turn the shame on the guys. That sounds like so, a band. Second I often dick. hear, I often hear, um, from women that they won't date a guy 
I hear I, I get this a lot. You have I like you, but you have too many women. Mm-hmm. What what does that what does that what does that even mean? Because my response, anytime a girl says that to me, it's so crazy because I'm like, yeah, they like me for the same reason you do. <laughs> like that's why. Actually, I have a friend uh, who's like a sister. She uh, she won't date a guy if he has a high body count. I'm not talking about a body count now. I'm specifically saying the appearance that you attract multiple women have driven women away just because others are attracted to you. Mm. And I want to I want to kind of analyze that as a reverse to us analyzing the uh, slut shaming. Do you have any thoughts of where that might come from, Yael? I don't really know. Like, honestly, I mean, like, usually slut-shaming is, like, you're upset about something, and it's, it's like, placating on, like, a a gross stereotype to, like, put yourself in a higher level and put that person in a lower level. But I'm not talking about slut-shaming now. I'm talking specifically uh, on the other side of the coin where... The high body... Not the so high body I want count. someone who's had 200 sexual partners now. Not the high body count. The specific statement of you have too many women who like you, so... Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. When you have too many women who are involved with you, you're casually dating too many people. There is absolutely no way you have emotional time and space for one person. Or, or to even focus on one person. For you, it's a rat race. And for that, and for the woman involved, we just might not want to run that fast after you. We went like one of the things that I do: pursue someone who likes me, follow their lead. I can't chase after you; it's ridiculous. It's exhausting. It's like forget about it. So why I don't do, have the patience anymore. Why do women not have the competitive edge? Because there's a saying where 100 percent of the women like 10 percent of the men, and if you're trying to get this 10 percent good man. You're going to be involved in some level of competition. There's, it, it's, it's almost insane to think that a guy that you like, no one else likes. And right. honestly, you never like that guy. Any guy that, ha- that doesn't have women that they're attracted to, that's one of the greatest things that you can do, like even in the microcosm of a club. If you go into a club um, with attractive women who, even if you're not dating, but are around you, that immediately raises your social standard to other women liking you. Well, like, I dated somebody for the dude on and off for two years that I am convinced is trying to find me in a, in, a, in a more palatable package to present to mom and dad. Are you, I are promise you not, he will marry the woman closest to personality. Apparently not. We never could manifest in two years, and I gave this boy space. I, it, is, it is sad, the amount of nights that we went to bed without each other, missing one another over stupidity, over nothing. Like, this relationship for me, I feel, was like quitting, is like quitting smoking. It was, it was something that was just, that I really enjoyed, that was leading to nowhere good, and preventing me from having a meaningful relationship with somebody else. Who, quite frankly, I, I thought about this over the weekend, actually. Like, the biggest lesson I learned in that relationship was what I want in treatment of me and, like, general attitude in a, in a boyfriend-husband situation. Someone like him, but also is okay with the fact that I have a podcast or we use the F word or we talk about shit like slut shaming. Like, we all tell jokes. Somewhat for a living, we have interesting careers. That takes a special type of person to swallow that pill, and I don't think that person was him, to be quite frank. Yeah, I think comedians get shamed, but that's a whole different topic. Uh, Louie, what do you what do you think about when women say, um, "I don't want to date you because you have too many women checking for you"? Well, as you know, Keenan, that doesn't happen to me. <laughs> I might as well just walk right into it my damn self before one of you <laughs> scallywags freaking does it to me. So anyway. 
so let's go with, let's let's think of what your thoughts would be in that hypothetical world then yeah oh it like got him off that like people like that men thought i was attractive that's weird i thought that what <laughs> I don't. I have no idea. That came out of left field, but I want to explore it. So let's take a look. Wait, what? Um, so, <laughs> so you're saying that it got him off that other men found you attractive as a lady? What do you mean? Yeah. What do you mean? Got me off? No, he's not, not you. Oh, talking we're not ex- talking about you. Oh no, oh. ex boyfriend. Ex boyfriend found it hot that when he would like show pictures of me to like his friends. And that's just it. The clients knew about me. We never met, but they, they, like, they knew. One of them friended me and then unfriended me. So I think she asked him and he said no, and then she unfriended me. Okay. I didn't I'm accept a, I'm her. Like, half this, of... Pause right there, because I'm going I'm to use this as a, a big teaching, a teaching moment for the ladies out there that are involved with men. Any man who shows pictures of you to his boys doesn't want a serious relationship with you. I will repeat. Any man who shows pictures of you to his boys in that manner does not at any point want a serious relationship with you. And here's why. Any man that does want a serious relationship with you will introduce you to his partners one, after he's made that decision that he's serious and then that picture would be introduced as okay this is my this is this is the girl that I want to be with this is my woman here she that it's an introduction it's more of a if if you go back to one of our early podcasts you remember I said you always got to listen to how the man introduces you to other people to oh yeah that is so important. that is so important it's the it's the same thing so if we're if we're talking to a girl that we're just smashing and that's all that we care about Oh, sure. We'll show you off to the homies. We'll show those nudes that you sent us. We'll show all of that. No, he didn't show those types of pictures. Not like that. He like he, showed like comedy pictures and like YouTube shit and stuff like that. Like, isn't so, she pretty and isn't she funny? It was more along those lines. Uh, I feel like some other pictures was thrown in there. You don't know about it. I doubt it. it. I doubt it. He's so not the type. I'd almost pat him on the back for having the balls. Really? You mean to tell me there are Yell Meisel naked pictures running around there somewhere? There's actually uh, a... Of course. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) There's no No, absolutely not. Of course not. I didn't send him dirty pictures. No. No, no, I, I money Ever? bet. Money bet. You're, tell, you're telling money. me that you've never sent dirty pictures, Al? Yeah. I mean, it, listen, if you're going to get dirty picture from me, it means nothing. <laughs> like honestly, I bet there. I bet there, for the sake I, of art. Yeah, I bet there are booby pictures of, from Yael. Uh, I just want to fix the, the internet. And then in the back, and then in the back, they're like stats, like their tops baseball cards. Like does she? Take, oh God! She has a career average of point three fifty seven of taking it up the ass. Wow! Oh God! No, I, first of all, I've never. Oh God! You've never like you, you've never given up. We that. are not even wow touching that from no. <laughs> Wanna, that means yes. That I, means yes. Yeah, yeah, El, yeah. El like has got it. Yeah. that there that you have never said. A seductive photo of yourself for artistic for artistic purposes. I call bullshit. For artistic purposes, I mean, listen. <laughs> Have you? Because you're the queen of selfies. You get lighting. <laughs> right. yeah. you, you make sure that I've, I've seen this woman ask the owner of a bar to change the bathroom light bulb because she wasn't being able to grab the right selfie. Are you kidding? So I know if you enjoy taking pictures that well. Uh, oh, they're gorgeous. No, if you are a receiver of such a photograph, you are a happy man. So wait I'm a minute. Sure. So, so yeah, oh, are you telling me that there are no um, incriminating photos floating around somewhere? I, I need a, I, I need mean, a, I, 
I need a, I need I mean, a specific like, answer. I don't think floating. I think they're like deposited in maybe a couple of different, like deposited bullshit. in like different no, accounts. Bullshit, me. bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. 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 You say it's all bullshit. Bullshit. Shit. 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 No yeah. shit. Like, if you're uh, seeing uh, the naked pictures of me, you're definitely, you know, getting laid. That's for sure. All right. That's good. That's, uh, that's good to know. By the way, um, I would like to solicit my services. I do boudoir pictures with my uh, no, he, Galaxy no, he doesn't. S6. Don't, I am a, no, he doesn't. I'm a professional. I will get your lighting done for all your sexting needs, ladies. If you need... Uh, if you need your boobies a popping, uh, let me know. And uh... let, let's let's talk about this. Let, yes. Let's actually talk about it because I I came across this story and I'm gonna try to talk and find it at the same time talk about how crazy this is because I saw a lady who specifically gets money to dress up males' appendages for dick pics. No, that, that was release. that wasn't real. That wasn't real. That was a fake um, comedy story. It was a vi- the video was fake too. Yeah, oh, uh, that's great. I don't. I can't believe you fell for that. That was obviously satire. Like no, I... no one's a dick picture taker professionally. <laughs> what, what the fuck are your thoughts, Keeman? You know, I, I thought that Valentine's Day was coming up, and it would be nice no. for me to actually well, send a card to the thing, it's like, Yeah, they're not that they're floating around. They're floating around Europe. That's Probably the truth. You know what I mean. The naked well, they have a are probably floating internet. around it's Europe. Us. This is probably more than floating. It's flying around Europe. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's the case, then why do I only have three subscribers on my YouTube page? Fucking hell! Because you don't Subscribe have subscribe and download. What is yeah. the matter with you? You know what? Seriously, uh, honestly, knowing your L's luck, everyone who got a picture sounds like this. No shit. Man. Don't bullshit me. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. Bullshit. I, Am I, the I would only, be very shocked. Am I the only one that finds that funny? Yep. <laughs> they, yeah, I, I think they're probably <laughs> floating around Europe. That would make sense. Definitely in the French region. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, you're, you're European from the waist down. Paris, really, specifically. Yeah. <laughs> We have some shit going to the West Coast, too. <coughs> uh, <laughs> More like the West Bank. No, the West Coast, San Francisco, the Bay Area. Yeah, no, yeah. More like the Bear Area. Yeah. No, the it's Bay the Bay Area. Oh, Where God. The Super Bowl is going ah. to be in a couple of weeks. Dab on them, Cam. Da, da, da. Had a fun episode. Oh, man. Where... Yeah. What do you got to promote, Queen? Oh, gosh. Okay. If you get, go to my Facebook page and like and subscribe for Love and Play, you'll find it listed in things that I do for a living. Please like and download and subscribe for Love and Play on iHeartRadio, iTunes, and like and subscribe on Facebook. And we are going to have Get the Hell Excited for Pizza Talk. We are going to be saving the date. As soon as we will know the date, we will release it. Our second headlining set for Pizza Talk Radio, streaming in front of 30,000 people, being streamed on YouTube. This is a big deal show. You guys get the fuck excited. It's in Babylon, and that's all I've got going on. That's it. All right. Baron, what's up? Yes, uh, to all my worshipers and followers, uh, I will be in Staten Island February 13th. I am going to be going to... Uh, the People's Republic of of Staten Island and do the jokes at at a hashtag at a, the hashtag bar at 7 p.m. February 13th. That that's a Saturday, so um yeah, come out see me. Uh, and uh, it's a Joe Rombie presents the uh Tic Tac Joe show. Oh yeah, and also follow me. Uh, follow my uh, personal uh. Podcast, the Crush Shot Radio Show, which I will do every, live every Friday, every Saturday at 5 p.m. Right after I record this lovely show, and uh, and I talk about the stuff that I can't really talk about here. So, take it away, Keenan. All right, everybody knows all my information. We can find on my website 
www.keenanweaver.com. That's K-E-N-A-N-W-E-A-V-E-R. Every Sunday night, 8 p.m., Sunday Night Live at New York Comedy Club. Come check me out. I have fun. Start your week off with jokes to tell your co-workers at the water cooler because that's what people with jobs do. Uh, thanks for listening in. Remember, keep loving, keep playing.